what's up guys it's your boy lifted here today's video is going to be a little different it's actually going to be a build review video of a gaming chair that i recently purchased my previous gaming chair was about seven months old i bought it on amazon for around 200 dollars, and it was starting to show signs of age so i decided to upgrade i was also looking for something to match my gaming slash streaming pcs theme which is red art red led colors uh, in a black case and it's themed towards star wars so i definitely wanted a black and red chair my previous one was a black white and gray camel so i ended up doing my research and i found this company technisport and when i did my research on them i was just blown away at the at the reviews i mean pretty much every single review is a four or five star review you get your couple one star reviews here and there but nothing really like super negative about the chair some people complained about the armrest that they were too stiff things like that but um other than that it wasn't nothing negative like the chair fell apart within x amount of time so that's definitely something that caught my attention also they're a local company based out of florida i'm in central florida myself and they're in south florida about two and a half hours away from me so i'm definitely one to support local businesses that's that's something that i'm big on i'd rather buy from the mom and pops than buy from the big chain providers just because the local guys definitely need the help one of the most important things that stood out about techni sport to me is the fact that three percent of the proceeds of every chair sold goes to a different charity for example my chair goes towards disaster relief their camel chair goes towards the veterans and i believe it's either a white or a pink one goes towards alzheimer's research so that's definitely something that caught my attention because companies that are making a product and turn around and give some of that money back to something like alzheimer's research or disaster relief to me that means a lot it, it, it means that the company does have their community in mind so that was definitely something that i liked about the company this is going to be a completely 100 percent honest and unbiased review of this chair and techni sport as a company um I, I am not sponsored i am not getting paid for this in any way i'm not making a cent off of it i'm just doing it so that if you guys are out there trying to make a decision on what gaming chair to buy you have someone like me an average joe that is telling you the good and the bad of the chair so definitely like i said this is going to be a 100 percent honest review and if you guys have any questions about the building process the quality of the chair how the chair feels go ahead and drop it down in the comment section below and i'll go ahead and i i make it a mission of mine to always engage my my audience my engage you guys and and i look at all my videos and whenever a comment is made i always respond and acknowledge those comments because i think it's very important that both I communicate with you guys and you guys communicate with me so feel free to drop it in the comments and I'll definitely answer back um, other than that the, like I said the video is 29 minutes long on the build side I am going to speed up the video just for the sake of not having a 40 minute video and just having you guys sitting there while I'm building the chair so I will speed that part up and then I'm gonna go ahead and come back and we're gonna do an initial first impressions review of the chair but other than that, without further ado, I'll catch you guys in the building.
guys welcome back so i gotta say that this build was honestly super easy the manual is one page and it's six different steps and that's it the chair is built um and you can see that in the video that it, it was pretty simple they do something really awesome so they included the tool to build the chair in the packaging with all the hardware all the bolts whether it's the big ones or the thin ones the small ones they they all use the same head so you only need one tool to build this and it comes with it so that's super awesome because not everybody is prepared to have an allen wrench or the l-shaped wrenches just laying around so that's super convenient the bolts they had pre-applied loctite on them which is pretty cool because loctite when you're applying it can get a bit messy so that's that's definitely a plus because that's going to make sure that those bolts never walk out and the chair gets all wobbly and all shaky um first impressions of the chair i'm super excited about it i i, I love it it feels comfortable it is a brand new chair so the neck pillow is a little stiff um the lumbar pillow also but you know with time that definitely breaks in and it becomes it, it it's not uncomfortable at all like i've been sitting in the chair now for about two or three hours and it feels super comfortable so it, it'll definitely break in the seat part of it is memory foam that i don't think it's gonna break in or get any softer than it than it is right now and like i said it's just super comfortable i, I like the build quality of it the fit the chair feels very sturdy so you know and it doesn't feel cheap at all i mean for a 420 dollar chair with taxes and everything it definitely should not feel cheap and it does not it does not disappoint um one complaint that i've heard from a couple reviews that were on youtube that they didn't really go much into detail but they did talk about it is the armrest so i have the 4d armrest they have three different armrests to choose from you have the 2d which is up and down on the height adjustment and i believe the in and out motion of the armrest that's padded on the 2d on the 3d i believe it goes to not being padded and it's kind of like the same thing as the 4d armrest which is what i have that it's like a like a rubber that the top is kind of soft and it has like a basket weave style carbon fiber looking pattern on it it's not super stiff and I do hear that they tend to get softer as you use the chair. So the 3D goes up and down, has the side, the in and out motion, and then it does forward and backwards on the armrest. The 4D, what it does is it does all of those plus the armrest move in and out. The part where you actually put your elbows, that moves left and right. So you get, if you wanna like kind of like throw your arms out because you're watching a video or whatever, you can definitely do that you can the cool thing of it is you can tune the chair to you so i have two monitors and i have my desk my l-shaped desk in front of me keyboard and mouse is directly in front of me the chair i'm able to get it leveled with the desk to where it's comfortable for me to move my mouse and type if i'm playing a game or if i'm streaming or whatever it is it's it's very comfortable it's very leveled so i don't have to raise the height of the the entire chair to get my arms to line up, I can do it through the armor. So that's definitely really convenient. Um, like I said, it's memory foam padded on, on the on the seat, the back, the middle part is also um, padded, very comfortable. Like I said, the chair does recline up to 150 degrees, height adjustment, tilt adjustment. And it's pretty cool because, so the bar that you hit in the bottom of the chair to raise or lower the chair, if you release the tension screw for the tilt all you have to do is you pull the bar out and now you can rock the chair freely if you decide you don't want the chair to rock anymore instead of having to hit the tension screw you know and reaching the bottom of the chair you just push that bar in that bar locks it in place so you can't rock it so that that's pretty convenient because you only have to adjust the tension screw once which what i do is i just keep it in the softest setting because I do like every once in a while, if I'm just like looking at videos that I edited or I'm watching one of my favorite streamers, I go ahead and unlock the tilt and I kind of like lean back and I get comfortable with the chair. So 
honestly, it just it it feels like an like an awesome chair. I mean, there's I've seen chairs out there upwards of a thousand dollars, and and I feel that this chair has the same the same quality and the same construction. I mean, let's be honest. In the end, these chairs are all made in China, so most likely all those the materials are exactly the same, uh, unless it's an American made company but i mean a lot of the stuff you flip it and look at it and it does say made in china so i definitely made sure to wash my hands make sure i don't get any coronavirus on my hands <laughs> we have such such a craze going on with that now that i just i find it hilarious sometimes people should be washing their hands this is a quick psa you should be washing your hands all the time anyways whether the coronavirus is out there or not I've seen people literally sneeze into their hands and then go and reach for a door handle. And it's like, dude, come on. So definitely, dude, guys, wash your hands all the time. Um, but other than that, um, like I said, the chair is really smooth. You guys can see it has the Thunder Gaming logo on there. It has the Technisport logo in the bottom. And then if you turn the chair around, and you'll see it in the video too when I do the spin of it, there's the logo for Thunder Gaming very tasteful very nice stitch very you know the it, it feels like high quality stuff it doesn't feel like some you know plain old cheap chair that you paid a ridiculous amount for um they also offer something called afterpay so it, it i paid for the chair in full but the afterpay for people that can't afford a 420 dollar hit to the pocket immediately after pay, you make four payments bi-weekly. You make the first payment, they ship out the chair to you, the chair to you, and then every two weeks they charge your account. For this chair, it would have been like ninety-seven bucks or something like that, because it was three eighty-nine plus taxes with with free shipping. So I mean, other than that, like that, the only negative thing that I would have to say about the chair is the fact that yes, the armrests are a bit on the stiff side but it's not a deal breaker i know it's going to soften up because even when i push down on them they feel like soft if you push hard so i know eventually from where i place my elbows that area is definitely gonna get softer as time passes by so other than that everything works perfect in the chair i'm super happy it's black and red and matches my my gaming pc which is super dope i have a kylo ren action figure inside of it and i'll take i'm gonna do a review on the case that i recently purchased for my pc build because it's made by a company called nzxt and they just make awesome products so i i have the black and red themed case that i am going to be doing a review on soon for you guys to look at it like i said the, my channel is going to be about streaming it's going to be about gaming but it's also going to be about gaming related products because we're always in the market to buy new stuff or buy the latest stuff and i would personally rather hear a review from an average joe like me that works a nine to five and buys things out of his own pocket than just listen to a company and their model and their review and their their description of the item i rather hear from somebody like me that paid their hard-earned money to buy these products and they're not always going to be 100% positive reviews. Sometimes they're going to be negative reviews also, but that's the whole point of it. I want to be able to help you guys if you guys are trying to make a decision in something that you're buying. I want to help you guys, you know, they, well, Lifted bought this and he says that, you know, it's working out for him and he showed us. And, you know, I do plan on coming back and making a three month review of this chair. I think by three months with my gaming sessions that are usually between six to eight hours plus streaming and editing and everything else that goes on aside from the gaming, I'm definitely going to put this chair through its paces like I did my other one. So I will definitely come back and re-review this chair after those initial 90 days and we'll see where we're at. But as of right now, I am I am blown away. I'm very glad that I chose Technisport as a company. And, and, and I chose their product, and they definitely did not disappoint. So if you guys have any questions or comments, drop them down in the comment section below. Like if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, and if you're new around here, drop a subscribe. I would definitely appreciate it. And thank you guys so much for all the love and support that has been given to the channel in the past few weeks. The Friday night stream, like I said earlier, it was, was a total success. I gained 20 new subscribers, and I'm hoping that on the next stream, I can gain, even if I gain one subscriber a stream, to me, that's enough because 
I, I, I want to promote a channel that you guys are going to find both entertaining and useful. So with that said, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.